When President Emerson Mnangagwa took over from former President Robert Mugabe in November 2017, he promised to transform the country into a beacon of democracy and revive its economy. But Zimbabwe is still experiencing incidences of violence, with some opposition lawmakers, journalists and activists reportedly being arrested by security forces, tortured and charged with inciting violence. Ngaringombe put the blame squarely on SADC for not doing enough. How will you take an action of closing an embassy if you are not just even ready to talk about these issues and condemn them? I never heard Kenyo or any other uh, president that says um, we are condemning this and this is wrong. I know um, South Africans sent um, an envoy to, to Zimbabwe to meet the leaders of, of, of Sanu PF and also the opposition. They end up meeting with Sanu PF and they were stopped to see uh, the civil society or any opposition and they went back to South Africa. So first they must air their ways and then go to some extreme action. He also accused SADC for failing to address human rights abuse in Eswatini and Madagascar. The people of Zimbabwe, both in the diaspora and in Zimbabwe, have suffered too much. They have borne the sheer brutality of a regime that does not respect democratic tenets and does everything in its power to hold on to its swinging power. It is now time that SADC and its member states demonstrate leadership so that the dignity of the people of Zimbabwe can be restored. Now it's not the time for comradeship and liberation party solidarity. Now is the time for decisive action from SADC on the situation in Zimbabwe. Contacted for comment, Press Secretary Dr. Alfredo Hengari says President Hage Gainkop no longer serves on any SADC organs. Therefore, he says the right persons to express an opinion on the issue remains with the SADC chairperson, President Philip Nusi, or the chairperson of the Troika Organ on Defense and Security. AU chairperson, President Cyril Ramaphosa, recently sent an envoy to Zimbabwe, which was also criticized for only meeting President Mnangagwa and his government.